What is good everybody, Sawsome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get great guns and gear fast in Trumbull Valley. If you wanna get guns and gear quickly, especially in a fresh community, run this route right away and you'll be off to a great start. In my locker, you'll see what I got by running this route just one time. Look at all this loot and it's not even day two yet. My community is already set up for success. I'll show you the route in just a moment. But for even more success, run the route that I'm going to show you in Green Zone, then put everything in your locker, and then bump it to Standard Zone. The loot will respawn. Repeat the process as many times as you want. On my route, I don't stop for everything. I go for speed and efficiency. I want to run this route in under 25 minutes and have all this gear before day two even begins. I want the guns and I want the tradables for influence. If you want to see my loot route in Meager Valley, there's a link in the description below. My route for this video is in three phases. Here's phase one. So for phase one, we're heading to the northwest. Loot this bridge outpost. You're gonna find some good gear there. Then you wanna head up and hit this tragic medical camp. Good stuff. And then you have the trifecta. There's going to be a hidden weapons crate that's easy to find right here. You have the echo lab and you have this military camp. Get all three of those. Then we're gonna shoot over and get a guaranteed scorpion out of a medical facility right here. And then up to the gate to leave, but you hang a right, there's another hidden weapons crate right here. You can see they're all quick and easy to get to. You can get a lot of great loot very quickly. Let me walk you through it. Here's the bridge outpost. Oftentimes you'll find a crossbow and other good gear here. There's the tragic medical tent. You're gonna wanna stop and loot that. Then the trifecta. You can get all this stuff quickly. Just watch your step because there's a tipped over outhouse right there. We have the hidden weapons crate, the echo lab, and some other military tents you can all loot real quick right here. Just a couple minutes and you got some good gear. You for sure want to shoot over to this medical facility and get your free scorpion. It's a great sidearm. Just make sure you watch your step getting out of the truck. There it is. Beautiful. From there, we're going to head up to the gate and we're going to grab that uh, hidden weapons crate that I mentioned. And you head to the gate, then you're going to hang a right. You're going to want to look for a broken down big old truck right there. And then when you see the second truck, that's how you know to park and look for a little outlet or inlet into these rocks. You'll find the hidden weapons crate. So there's the other broken down trucks and that's the path that's going to lead you to the hidden weapons crate. And there it is. So you can see how in just a matter of minutes, whether you're in lethal zone or in green zone, you've already got some weapons, some gear, some valuables to trade, and it's not even sunset yet. Pretty good stuff. Look at all that. Nice. Then we're going to head over to Chavez. I'm going to hang a left here. I'll show you on the map. I didn't mention that on the first time, but Chavez is over here. We'll show you again on the map in just a moment. Uh, he will populate in when you get in the area. There's a hidden weapons crate right there. And there's uh, also the ability to trade with Chavez, and he's got some good gear you can trade. Stab the zombie once. That just makes him angry. All right, so here is a hidden weapons crate. There he is on the map. There's a couple cabins right there by that lake. You're definitely going to want to stop by Chavez, get the hidden weapons crate, and go make some trades. He's got some cool stuff. That's why I kind of leave him for last in this region. I want to have some stuff I can trade in case I didn't have influence starting this community. Start from nothing, you can trade with him and get some stuff. Swing down to your base, drop off all your gear, and then we're going to hit phase two. Right there, there's a medical tent. You're going to want to stop by that. Then you have the airplane crash where there's a hidden weapons crate there. And you're going to shoot diagonally over to a tractor where there is another hidden weapons crate in a field. I will show you all of these things. Shoot south and then stay on the southern part of the road there. You can see how succinct it is, how in just a matter of minutes you can get stuff. There's two hidden weapons crates right here. And you can see a military outpost right there as well. And then you're going to continue on around the corner. And right here, there's another hidden weapons crate. So it's all quick and efficient. And then we're going to head out of town and on to phase three after that. Here's the medical tent. You can stop by and loot that. Good stuff there. Here is the airplane we're going to see just around the corner from the military tent. I showed it to you on the map, but I'll show you the drive so there's no confusion. There it is. It's going to be on the right there, champ. There it is. And you're going to go to the tail of the airplane crash. Get a hidden weapons crate. Pretty easy to find. Very close to your base. 
It's not even lunchtime yet. We've already got tons of gear, tons of guns, and we're ready to fight the lethal zone. There it is on the map. I do bring a, another survivor. Someone gave me that tip, great tip, so they can just be a mule to carry extra stuff. All right, and here's that tractor I mentioned. I'll show you where it is on the map. The tractor is your landmark. Once you see the tractor, just start looking around and driving in circles until you see the hidden weapons crate. Where is it? All right, we're gonna find it any minute now. There it is on the map, there we are. Very cool. Let's go, Eka. Eka superhero. I'll link her playthrough in the description. The other fellow with us is Poncho. I'll link his as well. Head straight south and just take that road to the southern part of the map and you're going to come to this, what's it called, uh, engorged house. There it is. Right there. There's a hidden weapons crate directly to the left. And there's another hidden weapons crate in the neighbor's house, but you have to go in the back door there and grab that. So, there's the hidden weapons crate. Loot it. Good stuff. Nice. Good, not great. That's all right. So we cruise around and go in the back door. There's another hidden weapons crate. Poncho, the other survivor that is following me, he's from uh, Lethal Zone Hardcore. We did a Lethal Zone community with no infirmary, no crafting cures. It was intense. I'll link that in the description below. Here's that military camp that's right by. It's literally like 15 feet from that engorged house. You can't miss it. Loot that. Then around the corner, we have another hidden weapons crate. I will show you on the map in a moment. Very close to the engorged house, right by these big pipes. There it is on the map, so you're going to want to loot that. Again, you can see this is fast. I know there's a gun store in town. I know there's places I'm going by, but I want all this done as close to nightfall as I can. That was phase two. Phase three is going to take us this way down the highway. We're going to head to the east. We're going to get this army checkpoint, army medical tent, and there's a cool melee weapon on the roof of that tartan mart. Then we're going to cruise around all the way up here. It's worth the drive. There's a hidden weapons crate right here. Another hidden weapons crate right there. And this last one you may or may not determine is worth it. I'm going to go get it. It's way up here. I don't know. I know it's about speed and efficiency, but we've already come this far. We might as well loot it. So here we are at that army checkpoint and medical tent. It's a two for one deal. So loot both of those. Look at that. Found a plague cure. Nice. And then here where you see the big Tyrannosaurus Rex, if you um, go up the ladder onto the Tartan Mart, there's a cool, unique melee weapon. It's not great, but it's pretty awesome, like, just because it's cool. Because you found it in this dude's skull. It's a Jurassic something. I don't know. There it is. What's it called? I didn't see it. It's a jawbone or something. And then you continue to head north. You saw it on the map. And uh, you go through the infamous tunnel. Stop just outside of the tunnel, right by that bus. Different kind of bus stop in the apocalypse, right? And you're going to run. Um, hopefully you got your galoshes on. You're going to run through the water. And uh, back here there's another hidden weapons crate. Get your cardio up. Not there. I'll show you all the places it's not, and then I'll show you the place that it is. Baja. <laughs> my family hates it when I go, Baja. At their jokes. I could do it at my own jokes. That's where we are on the map. Cool. Let's loot this. No game changers, but certainly helpful. Especially for day one. We're at the evening of day one. It hasn't even turned day two yet. Uh, so you're going to look for that truck with the graffiti on it right there, and then you stop at the end of the guardrail. That's how you know where that one is. So drive straight north from that previous spot, see the truck with the graffiti on it, and then stop at the end of the guardrail and just kind of hug the edge of the water there. And then it's just to the right of the water. Just kind of keep looking to the right. Creepy. Super creepy. Awesome. Then this last one, you could take it or leave it. It's kind of tricky to find. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. It's up to you. I, you're probably going to do it. You guys are all more thorough than I am. I'm in this for speed. Drive up here. There's an orange tree right there. That's sort of my landmark. You saw where it was on the map as well. Just keep your eye open for that orange tree. There's a few of them, though. It's kind of annoying sometimes to find it. And there's another cave here uh, with, what is that? I don't forget what you call that. A battering ram or, I don't know, some sort of massive gun. I don't know. You can't take the big gun, but you can take the other stuff. There it is on the map. 
So then create an outpost, dump your stuff, and if you want to toggle it from green zone back to standard zone and back, that's up to you. Um, but that's my loot route. And by the end of day one, I mean, we got high tier loot and we're ready to battle in any zone. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out the links below and the links that are on your screen right now. And we're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.